also like to uh, thank Rebecca McLaughlin, who designed the beautiful invitation. There are copies of it on our table, along with some uh, shopping bags that you're welcome to take. We have more of them under the table. And uh, frisbees made of recycled material. I'd just like to say a little bit more, uh, in addition to thanking all the city officials who helped to make this possible, and the Commission on the Arts. The art that we have here on these barrels is a particular reminiscence of Pierre's Haitian uh, heritage, because Haiti, as you know, is a resource-poor country. And yet, the sense of beauty that Haitians have and the particular skill that they have in using found materials is something uh, that is quite remarkable. If you go to my little store in Middletown, Haiti's back porch, you'll see uh, pieces that are made from recycled material, from tin cans, from pieces of automobiles. Uh, and they've been repurposed and turned into things of beauty. So Pierre has taken these ordinary oil drums and uh, turned them into things of enormous beauty and fantasy and joy. And I, if you think it's easy to paint in the round and to get your design to come out right, uh, maybe you need to look again and, and think about doing it yourself. It is not easy whatsoever. But Pierre has done this and he has added beauty to our city. And I think he's also uh, reminded us of the great and wonderful diversity and multiculturalism that is part of Middletown today. So thank you, Pierre. Thank you to everybody. And I hope this is just the beginning uh, that we will have more barrels, that people will come forward to help us uh, finance them because they don't come free, um, and that we'll be able to continue this project up and down Main Street. Thank you all very much for coming. Well, I want to thank you, Christian. I want to thank Pierre. He came up to my office, what, about a year ago and said, I want to do this project and turn 55-gallon drums into works of art. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, good idea. What do I need to do to make it, to make it happen? He said, just, just sign off on it. Just tell me you're for it. And I said, I'm for it. Um, you know, you can any of you who've gone to any other community and, and just mentioned that you're from Middletown, you probably get the same reaction. The rest of Connecticut looks at Middletown and is wondering, what are they doing there? Why, why is Middletown succeeding when all these other communities are having such a rough time? Uh, well, it's, it's because we have treasures, you know, like our, our people. It's a lot of our individual people wanting to contribute to this community. And there's, there's just a culture here of wanting to do something, wanting to make it better. And, uh, and Pierre just, and he came forward of his own accord. It was his own idea. All he needed was us to kind of get out of his way. And, uh, and, and, and you see, you see what you've got. You know, I, as far as I'm concerned, you can turn everything into a work of art if given a chance. And the more you do it, there was, there was a time in the world where that that was the culture. No matter what it was, it had to be, it had to be a work of art. Whether you, and, and whether you go back to you know to, to classical times or, or through the Renaissance or even uh, even the, the the public works projects of of the last century, they they had to be more than utilitarian. They had to provide an aesthetic benefit to everybody, and um, and I don't know if we ever lost that in Middletown, but uh, I think it's something we want to continue to encourage. And when we have citizens that are willing to step forward and and, uh, and do that, you know, they, they really they really are owed a debt of gratitude by the community. So the community thanks you, Pierre. The, uh, the city thanks the uh, the Commission on the Arts for being so encouraging to, to, to those who are willing to do so much for us. And, uh, and I thank you. And I don't know, maybe you can work on the garbage then. You <laughs> <laughs> take them too. You, got, you, you busy? <laughs>
to stroll up and down Main Street. There are three or more of the barrels already in place, and next week we'll be getting these in place, and they're going to be anchored down, uh, right. because otherwise I'm afraid people might want them for their own property. <laughs> uh, have, a, have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Thank you. Bye.